I'd like to discuss with you the uh, development of comedy in this country today, and I'm very pleased to report to you that it has reached a level of sophistication of which we can all be very, very proud. You know, we no longer laugh at the things our grandparents laughed at. By that I mean um, low humor and slapstick comedy, that comedy which gets its laughs through cruelty and, and physical pain. Now, most of all, <laughs> we all have. <laughs> there, uh, there is nothing funny today about uh, about people in in pain. Back in ancient times, I suppose a primitive man used to laugh at somebody in some kind of physical pain. Oh my. <laughs> Audiences won't fall for uh, for that kind of humor. Uh, the modern comedian gets his laughs by using his wit, and you see he doesn't have to suit to low physical types of comedy. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh, uh, that only an infantile mind, ladies and gentlemen, would uh, would laugh at, at somebody in, in pain, possibly blood poisoning. <clears throat> Probably a little child would laugh at something like that, but you or I wouldn't. As Professor Sigmund Freud once said, laughing at people in pain is a manifestation of a deep-seated hostility. But, uh, but people... <laughs> 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 Professor Freud would, would not have laughed at any man who heard his play. <laughs> Thank goodness we have reached a point in our civilization today where we no longer laugh at people destroying themselves. <laughs> Happy to report that you'd have to look all over the world to find someone who would laugh at a man, say, falling down. <laughs> 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 